sa cellphone mo tumawag si Ruyina Garma? Yes, Mr. Mr. Chair. Kilala mo si si Ruyina Garma? Yes, sir. Pwede bang ituro mo rito kung nasaan si Ruyina Garma? Yes, sir. So, si Ruyina Garma, siya ba yung dating uh, PCSO General Manager? Yes, sir. And uh, she is my classmate in the Philippine National Police Academy. Inaamin mo ang lahat na ito na nagkausap kayo ni Colonel Garma? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Alam ko na ang kausap ni Superintendent Padilla ay si Presidente Duterte. Congrats, Superintendent Padilla. Job well done. Pero grabe yung ginawa. Ginawang dinuguan. Ang tumawag sa akin ay ayon sa boses ay dating President Rodrigo Rua Duterte at sinabing congrats Superintendent Padilla. Job well done pero grabe yung ginawa ginawang dinuguan. Mukhang kahindik-hindik ang mga eksena dito. What's the pool highlights video? Mukhang kahindik-hindik ang mga eksena dito. What's the pool highlights video? Tata, pwede bang uh, pakibasa mo ulit yung uh, number 28, 29 at number 30 ng abidavit mo dated nung August 21 yata? Nadinig ko na sinabi nung tumawag kay Superintendent Padilla, Congrats Superintendent Padilla, job well done. Pero grabe yung ginawa, ginawang dinuguan. Alam ko na ang kausap ni Superintendent Padilla, ay si Presidente Duterte. Dahil pamilyar ang boses niya. Colonel Padilla, sa iyong sinupaang salaysay, maaari niyo po bang basahin ang number 4 at number 6? Pinapatutuhanan ko ang sinabi ni Tata na nung papunta kami sa investigation section, ay tumawag, ay tumunog ang cellphone ko at ito ay sinagot ko. Ang tumawag sa akin ay ayon sa boses ay dating President Rodrigo Rua Duterte at sinabing congrats Superintendent Padilla. Job well done pero grabe yung ginawa, ginawang dinugahan. Ngayon inaamin mo na ngayon na totoo ang mga sinasabi ni Leopoldo Tan alias Tata na kinawagan ka ni Presidente Duterte pagkatapos patayin ang tatlong Chinese? Colonel Padilla? Yes, Your Honor. As uh, the voice I've heard over the phone. Inaamin mo din. Inaamin mo ang lahat na ito ang nagsabi, ang sinabi ni Jimmy Fortaleza last hearing na nagkausap kayo ni Colonel Garma? Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Inaamin mo din na nagkausap kayo ni Colonel Leonardo na sinabing papatayin nila ang tat tatlong Chinese national. Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Ngayon, ano ang ginagamit niyong telepono? Uh, during that time, uh, I have my cell phone. Your Honor, Mr. Chair, personal. So, sino ang hindi ba nakarehistro yung telepono sa iyong uh, pagtawag nung hindi. nakareceive ka ng calls? Hindi po. Binanggit mo si uh, former PCSO head, no? uh, General Manager uh, Ms. Ruina Garma. Uh, tama po ba yon? Yes po. Yun doon sa una mong uh, affidavit. Okay. Now, doon sa pagbanggit mo sa kanya, Uh, ang uh, pagkakasabi mo doon ay uh, nakausap niyo siya sa isang cellphone. Yes po. Yeah, sa yeah. cellphone ni isang PDL, ang pangalan ay Jimmy Fortaleza. Tama yes, po ba? Po. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pwede ba mari niyo po bang ituro sa amin uh, kung sino si Colonel uh, Ruina Garma dito sa bulwaga na ito? Hindi ko po uh, masyadong ko ng ang mukha, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Uh, hindi nyo hindi kilala yung mukha? Kilala. Okay. Uh, nandyan ba siya sa kanan mo? Hindi ko po masyadong mamukaan, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. 
Okay. So, hindi mo siya namumukaan? Hindi ko po namumukaan. Okay. Pero, nakausap mo siya sa cellphone? Yes po. Your How Honor, sure sir. are you na siya ay si Colonel Ruina Garma? Uh, because of uh, PDL Jimmy Fortaleza, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Okay. Sige. Salamat. Uh, siya si Jimmy Fortaleza, di ba? You are yes, Jimmy Fortaleza. O, pwede ba nga... Uh, Paki patutuhanan mo nga na sa cellphone mo tumawag si Ruina Garma uh, para makausap si Colonel Padilla dahil yun ang ayon sa iyong salaysay, di ba? Yes, Mr. Mr. Chair. Kilala mo si Ker si Ruina Garma? Yes, sir. Pwede bang ituro mo rito kung nasaan si Ruina Garma? Yes, sir. So, si Ruina Garma, siya ba yung dating uh, PCSO General Manager? Yes, sir, and uh, she is my classmate in the Philippine National Police Academy. We have already had three hearings wherein Colonel Padilla was a resource person. Wherein tinuturo niya si Colonel Garma ang isa sa mastermind ng pagpatay ng Chinese nationals. Bakit ko po sinasabing isa sa mastermind si Colonel Garma. Because we already know the facts based on the several resource persons that have testified in this hearing. At lahat po doon sa mga apidabit ng tatlo, ni Jimmy Fortaleza, ni Leopoldo Untalan, at saka ni Colonel Padilla, Lahat po ay nagtuturo na si Ruyo Nagarma ang nagutos na ipapatay yung tatlong Chinese national. Pero very clear po dito, Colonel Padilla, na nag-meeting po kayo bago nangyari yung insidente, bago po nangyari ang krimen, ay nakipag-meeting po kayo sa CID station in the presence of Colonel Leonardo and in the presence of Colonel Garba. Imposible naman po na nag-usap kayo na almost one hour, 30 minutes to one hour. At kaharap nyo si Colonel Leonardo at si Colonel Garma, eh hindi ho nyo maturo dito. Medyo napaka-imposible pong uh, sitwasyon, Mr. Chair. So ano po ba? Kilala niyo ba si Colonel Garba o hindi? Baka nagbago ang itsura nagbago niya. Nagbago po ang itsura kasi uh, islim, ah, nagbago. Islim, islim pa siya nung nagkita kami, Your Honor, Mr. Ah, Chair. ganun po ba? Opo. Pero ano mo nyo, based on forensics, ang tao po, pag maliit pa, hanggang paglaki niya, kahit na tumaba siya, Kung kilala mo talaga siya, kung nakausap mo na siya, whether he became fat, whether he became, he was thin, eh makikilala ho ninyo. The plan was hatched to kill the three Chinese nationals. It was a conspiracy that started from the topmost official of the country all the way down to the lowly officials, pati yung mga gwardiya po, kasama po dito sa krimen na nangyari. You have been in PNP service for the past, or for 24 years, hindi po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, out of 24 years, would you say mga 70 to 80 percent na-assigned po kayo sa Davao? Yes. Karamihan po, tinignan ko yung uh, uh, record ninyo, karamihan po ng assignment nyo sa Davao eh. Yes, You were uh, uh, briefly assigned in 2004 to 2007 as CIDG officer. Then in 2019, napunta ho kayo ng uh, Cebu City, hindi po ba? Yes, Mr. Anong Chair. year po yun na napunta po kayo sa Cebu City? Even at the objection of Mayor Tommy Osmeña, nilagay ka pa rin ni Devold Sinyas, o Sinas ba yun, uh, as a chief of police. In short, hindi pinalo yung protocol, hindi po ba? I, I, I do not know, Your Honor. Uh, this was uh, taken from one of the newspaper. Cebu City Police Chief Ruine Garma, Mayor Tommy Osmeñas hated, but Duterte's trusted. 
So alam po ho yun, doon talaga sa buong Cebu City that uh, Tomis Menya did not really like you as the chief of police. Bakit po hindi maganda ang relasyon ninyo ni Tommy Osmeña? Mr. Chair, nung first one week ko pa lang na-assign as city director, I was OIC, marami na po ako nakitang hindi tamang nangyayari sa Cebu City Police Office. One example is yung pag-dispatch po ng SWAT team ginagawang patrol pinapapatrol sa gabi and I have no control over SWAT team of Cebu City Police Office because it is the the um, command center of the LGU that dispatches them anytime at their kung gusto lang po nila so dun po nakita ko na there's something wrong this is not correct hindi Kasi, kaya yin or Colonel Garma ang pinakangkalaking issue ninyo is because of the extrajudicial killings that happened when you were the chief of police of Cebu City? I don't... Could that be the reason why Mayor Tomias Menya uh, does not like you? Because when you were assigned in Cebu City, there were many extrajudicial killings that happened. In fact, Mayor Tomias Menya condemned the extrajudicial killings. At saka, he is a demand that nangyari po itong mga extrajudicial killings nung kayo na po ang naging chief. Itong si Yung Huli was a suspected drug lord in Cebu City. Siya po ay pinatay ng four identified gunmen sa loob ng isang motel nung kayo po ay city director. Habang kayo po ay city director. Si Jung Kuhamada ay isang foreign national na napatay po ng mga PT, PNP operations under your words against illegal drugs nung kayo po ay director ng Cebu City. Hindi niyo po ba natatandaan itong mga insidente na ito? No, Your Honor. Kaya po pinili si Ruye Nagarma ni General Devold Sinas para gamitin po si Colonel Garma ni Devold Sinas para sa extrajudicial killings against illegal drugs. Saan po naka-assign si Ispo for Nart Narsoles? CIDG 11, Your Honor. CIDG 11. Under the command of uh, then Colonel Eldelberto Leonardo, hindi po ba? Yes, Your Honor. At that time, kayo po ay chief of police ng Santa Ana or uh, sa sa police station? You were assigned in Davao City between 2011 to 2016 in different capacities. Yes, Hindi Your Honor. Ba? Yes, oh. Your Honor. So, si Art Norsoles was assigned in CIDG po during that time also. Hindi po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Kayo po ba, uh, Colonel Garma, eh, na-assigned po kayo sa CIDG sa Davao City? Yes, Your Honor. 2008, Your Honor. So in the year 2016, you were never assigned sa CIDG, Colonel Garma? 2016, no, Your Honor. 2016? No, Your Honor. Were you never assigned never, Your in Honor. CIDG? Never, Your Honor. Of Davao City? Never, Your Honor. Never, okay. Colonel Leonardo, kilala ko nyo ba si Colonel Garma? Yes, Mr. Chair. Madalas ko kayo magkita? Uh, nung, nung araw po, Mr. Chair, madalas ka. Bumibisita din po siya sa CIDG station, sa opisina nyo, hindi po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair, mayroon po mga panahon. So you really know Colonel Garma? Yes, sir. Isang compound lang po yun, nandun sa... So in short, so dahil ano, pero kayo po ay mga police, kayo po ay mga cooperatives, hindi po maiwasan natin na nag-uusap-usap din po kayo ng mga operations, hindi po ba? Ano Mayroon. yun? That is Possibly, peer, Mr. Chair. That is peer group, hindi po ba? Kung yeah. mga kapulis, anong pinag-uusapan ng operation? Mga congressman, pinag-uusapan anong batas ang gagawin? O kung uh, ano, usually ganyan niya po nangyayari. So may pagkakataon na pinag-uusapan nun ninyong operations, hindi po ba? Uh, wala po kasi akong matandaan, Mr. Chair, na nakapag-uusap ako sa tungkol okay. sa anyway, operation. Okay, anyway, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Tinamin na ako kanina ni Colonel Garma that there was a time in July of 
na pumunta siya doon sa opisina mo, nandun po kayo, nandun po din bumisita si Colonel Padilla. Hindi po ba? Uh, pasensya na po, Mr. Chair. Hindi ko po matandaan yung uh, instance na kami nagkita ni... Ano, ni uh, Commissioner Leonardo, Colonel remember Padilla. that you're under oath. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, hindi ko po matandaan There are po. two persons here testifying that you had a meeting in CIDG against only you. And yung isa, sinumpaang sa laysay pa. And kanina si Colonel Garma sinabi, indeed, you had... He, she was there, you kayong tatlo, ito, na lang ang pag-usapan natin. Somebody is lying here, Mr. Chair. Ulitin ko po, Colonel Leonardo, ito, binasa na po ni Colonel Padilla, yung salay, sinumpaang salaysay niya, na nagkita po talaga kayo doon sa opisina, pinatunayan po ni Colonel Garma, although iba ang version niya, pero the fact remains, na pinatunayan niya na nagkita kayong tatlo doon sa opisina mo. Mr. Chair, gaya po na sinabi ko, hindi ko po matandaan na nagkita-kita kami tatlo doon po. Uh, pero si uh, Colonel Karma, uh, may mga instances na natanda ko nagkita po kami, Mr. Chair. So, are you denying that uh, Colonel Padilla was never uh, in your office? Mr. Chair, hindi ko nga po siya kilala, Mr. Chair. Sige. Ito lang po. Nung bumisita si Colonel Garma, ito po ay eh, very clear na na bumisita kayo. Hindi po ba inaamin ho nyo yun? Yes. Ang kasama uh, nyo si Colonel Bililla and Grijaldo. Ito, sa number four. Nung bumisita po kayo, tinanong nyo nasaan na yung tatlong Chinese na inakasuhan ng uh, drug, uh, illegal drugs. Hindi po ba? No, Your Honor. Jimmy, dito ka naman, Mr. Chair, dito si Jimmy. Sinumpaang sa laysay mo to. Pwede kang kasuhan ng perjury nito. Uh, sinasabi mo rito, nang bumisita si Colonel Garma, ay uh, tinanong ka, Merong operasyon dito at nasaan itong mga Chinese national uh, Chinese uh, prisoners hindi po ba? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. At sinabihan ka rin niya na meron silang operation hindi po ba? Yes, Your Honor. And then sometime nung August 8, 2016, Mr. Chair. or prior to August 8, 2016, Mr. Chair, tinawagan ka ni Colonel Garma at kinausap ka at inutusan ka na sabihin kakausapin niya si Colonel Padilla. Hindi po ba? Yes, Your Honor. At pagkatapos ng tawag na yon, pumunta ka kay Colonel Padilla at binigay mo yung cellphone tapos nag-usap po sila. Nandun ka nung nag-usap sila sa telepono ni Colonel Garma. Hindi yes, po ba? Your, yes, Your Honor. Okay. Ngayon, ano ba ang pinag-usapan ninyo, Colonel Garma, nung uh, na, nagtawag, tumawag ka kay uh, Colonel Padilla? Hindi po ako tumawag sa kanya, Mr. Chair. Your Honor. Colonel Padilla, ah, uh, Sinumpaang salaysay ho ninyo ito. Uh, dalawang apidabit po na sinabit ninyo na uh, dito sa paragraph 5. Tumawag po sa inyo si uh, Colonel Garma at ito po ang sinabi ni Colonel Garma. May mga tao kami dyan na gagawa at huwag mo na questionin and whether you like it or not, we will operate and do not interfere. Baka madamay pa pamilya mo. In short, you were already giving instructions to Colonel Padilla na merong ang operasyon yun. What we mean by operation, tinanong ko na si Colonel Padilla niya nung muling hearing, ay papatayin niya yung tatlong Chinese uh, um, Chinese prisoner. Ngayon, after nung 
nag-usap na kayo ni Colonel Padilla at ni Colonel Garma doon na pinatawag ni Colonel Leonardo si Colonel Padilla at doon na kayo nagkita doon sa CIDG station na kung saan sinabi din ni Commissioner Leonardo Colonel Padilla huwag ka nang makialam meron kaming operation dyan hindi po ba? No, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, sa incidenting ito po, it has all the footprints, fingerprints, quote-unquote, so to say, of Colonel Garma. Actually, Colonel Garma, lahat ng utos, even to SPO for Art Narsolis, nanggaling ho sa inyo. After ng meeting ho ninyo ni Colonel Padilla, ni Colonel Leonardo, ni Commissioner Leonardo, doon na nyo inutusan si Art Narsolis, who is very close to you, para puntahan si Leopoldo Tan at inutusan na patay na yung tatlong Chinese. Hindi po ba? No, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, there are one, two, three statements from resource persons which is under oath against the statement of Colonel Garma which is not even under oath. Sino po ba ang papaniluhaan natin? Yung nagbigay ng sinumpaang salaysay o yung isang tao who is always been denying of her involvement in this incident. It is very clear, Mr. Chair, that somebody is not telling the truth in this interpolation. It is perceived, not only in Davao City, but in the ranks of policemen, among your peers, that you are very close to President Duterte. Is that true? That is their perception, Mr. Chair. Pero that perception is believable, Colonel Garba and Mr. Chair. Why? Yung pag-appoint ho sa inyo ng PCSO, hindi ho ordinaryong trabaho yan that you just go for a job interview, you just apply uh, for a position. We know very well that the position of PCSO is a presidential appointee and we know very well in the government that if you are not close to that powers pabi, you will never be appointed. Kahit po wala ho tayong uh, application form, kahit po walang a job interview, pag malapit ka po sa appointing authority, you will be appointed. So yung perception po na malapit po kayo, totoo po yun, hindi, hindi, hindi totoo, yun, hindi haka-haka. Because kung hindi po kayo malapit, the former president, you will never be appointed as species. So, hindi po ba? Possible, Mr. Chair. Do you think, Colonel Garma, kung hindi kayo malapit ka Duterte, ma-appoint po kayo as species? So, hindi po mangyayari yung Colonel Garma. Alam po natin, even up to the assistant secretary level, to the USEC level, you must be very close to the powers that be. And in this case, you were appointed because of your close relationship with the former president. Uh, Congressman Pimentel, if I may interject, uh, kay Colonel Garma, yung bang uh, pagkakataon na, di ba, uh, sinabi mo na inaplayan mo yung position Yes, Mr. Chair. Na as General Manager ng yes. PCSO. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, during that time, was the position of General Manager vacant when you applied for the position? Ano po, um, nag, parang there, there, there are news articles na So in other words, hindi ho siya vacant. Natatanggalin na. Uh, You're not yet sure kung tatanggapin yung application mo as the PCSO general manager that time yes. kasi ongoing investigation and you were still in active service. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ah, okay, sige. Thank you, uh, Colonel Garma. Mr. Congress Chairman. Man, uh, Mr. Chairman. 
uh, with the indulgence of Congressman Pimentel. Yes, um, Congressman if Jones. I may be allowed, just a few, just to interject, talam naman po natin na hindi po na ipepuesto ang mga polis kung unang-una, hindi po muna ito is sinasang ayunan ng mga chief executives. Nabanggit po kanina na sa maraming palipat-lipat po ninyo na iba't ibang mga pwesto dahil daw po ito lamang sa due to merit. This is a fact that you stated. And without uh, intervention or influence from those that decide, those are very difficult positions to to attain, Colonel Garma. Mr. Chair, I never asked for positions. Hindi po ako lumalapit kahit kanino okay. pagka Ay, okay lang pagkuha po. Okay ng position, lang po. Okay Mr. Chair. Kasi sa akin kanina, nabanggit nyo, Colonel Garma, ang pinakamahalaga sa inyo ay yung kapakanan ng anak ninyo. Yes, Mr. Chair. Kaya po kayo nag-resign. Yes, Mr. Chair. Kung, kung pinahalagahan nyo po yung kapakanan ng anak ninyo, bakit po ilalagay nyo sa alanganin na sitwasyon ang buhay ng anak ninyo na wala po kayong trabaho. Even that you had 10 more years of active service, which was a gamble, you were sure in your heart that you will not put the welfare of your daughter in any harm. Therefore, you applied for the position of PCSO. A position so plum and so sweet that only the hand-picked chosen one of the president will be given. There was indeed a close contact or several contacts between Colonel Garma and uh, Jimmy Fortaleza. There were already three occasions wherein Colonel Garma had a contact with Jimmy Fortaleza and personally talking to, he, to Jimmy Fortaleza whether on the phone o dun sa dapikol. Ang pangapat po, nung August 11 na, nung pinasok na po yung tatlong bilanggo na Chinese na para patayin, tumawag din po ulit si Colonel Garma, kay Jimmy Portalesa at sinabayhan, huwag mong pabayaan yung tatlong bilanggo, bigyan mo, alagaan mo, bigyan mo ng pagkain. So it's very clear, Mr. Chair, that uh, it was Colonel Garma who was directing everything to kill these three Chinese nationals.